Give up your time-based rules for pricing with an FX rate and go for a data-driven approach instead. Welcome to CurrencyCast. My name is Augustine McKinley. I'm the financial writer at Cantox and your host. In this week's episode, we're going to highlight the challenges faced by treasurers as they seek to manage pricing risk. Understanding pricing, says Tony Rami, Cantox's co-founder and chief growth officer, is the single most important element in allowing you to set a strong currency management program. Pricing risk is the risk that between the moment an FX-driven price is set and the moment it is updated, shifts in the exchange rate might cause damage to your competitive position or your profit margins. The natural way to protect against pricing risk is to increase the frequency of pricing updates. But that possibility is not available to those companies that wish to set stable prices or steady prices across an entire campaign or across sets of campaigns linked together. I will come back to these cases in much more detail in coming episodes. Today, we want to highlight the shortcomings of the most widely used approach to, um, to pricing risk, namely time-based rules. A time-based rule sets a time frame between the moment an FX-driven price is set and the moment it is updated. It could be 24 hours, a week, or a month. At Cantox, we are strongly believe that these rules are arbitrary and they really fail to protect the company from FX risk. Take the 24-hour rule to update the FX rate and the price. So why 24 hours and not 23 or 25 hours instead? This is completely arbitrary. And it may not allow you to take advantage of favorable moves in exchange, mark, in exchange rates. So, for example, if you price in euros, you buy in dollars, and the euro USD rate is a systematically important part of your pricing parameters, an upward move in the exchange rates, namely a stronger euro, could allow you to price more competitively in euros without hurting your budgeted profit margins. But that possibility may be precluded by the fact that the price update is only going to happen at a certain date. At Cantos, we believe that such arbitrary time-driven rules should give way to a data-driven approach in which you would set boundaries around your FX reference rate such that a price update would only occur if the upper limits or the lower limits of those boundaries were hit. That way you would be in a position to take advantage of favorable moves in foreign exchange markets and also to protect your budgeted profit margins from an unfavorable move in currency markets, independently of when those moves take place. So this approach would be not time-driven. It would also allow you to set the pricing markups per client segment and per currency pair that your strategy demands. And it will also give you the possibility to select the tenor of the FX rate you want to price with. You want to price with a spot rate or with a three-month forward rate or the six-month forward rate. Pricing with a forward rate in the event of unfavorable forward points. So for example, if you're based in a strong currency area like North America and Europe and you're selling into emerging markets, allows you to protect the company from the, the danger of unfavorable uh, forward points or the cost of carry. Failure to have such a system in place is likely mean, meaning that you're going to set excessive pricing markups that in the end would only hurt your competitive position. Most treasury management systems would not allow you to set a data-driven approach to pricing and to manage pricing risk. And while TMSs cannot do that, currency management automation solutions will allow you to take advantage of favorable moves in currency markets while protecting budgeted profit margins and to set the markups that your business strategy requires in terms of currency pairs and client segments and to select the tenor of the FX rate you want to price with. Are you worried about the FX health of your business? 
Take our free assessment through the link below and get a personalized report in minutes.